Hello Mzansi and welcome to Hot Mzansi. Siabo Nganene, famously known as Big Zulu, came from very humble beginnings as he is the definition of true rags to riches story. The artist is now rubbing shoulders with big names in the entertainment industry. Today we're going to be looking at Big Zulu's business empire and get to know how he has managed to turn his life around and become wealthy. In 2008, Big Zulu quit his day job as a taxi driver to pursue a career in making rap music, which is a dream he always knew he had. The following year, the rapper started contesting in battles underground and competed against other raising stars in the music business. He earned himself the title King of Rap after winning a rap contest hosted by Back to the City. Universal Music Records saw his talent and signed him to their label in 2015. Zulu was writing his songs and recording. His first single was released in 2016. Later in 2018, he released the complete first studio album. His second album came the following year in 2019 and he featured several famous artists like Hasman Yves, Questa and many more. Two of his singles on the record album was certified platinum. The whole album was certified gold by the recording industry of South Africa. Big Zulu got nominated for four awards in 2019, but unfortunately he did not win any of the awards that year. The rapper took things a step further and left his label to create his label called Inkabi Records. After that, he released his hit single Malia Ningi, which featured Intabayase Dubai and Rick Rick, which was his lead single. The song brought him the most famous as it was certified double platinum and top in the charts. The song won him an award for best collaboration and the album went on to win album of the year. He got five other awards because of that album. Besides being the founder and CEO of Inkabi Records, Big Zulu has partnered with Spitz as a brand ambassador of Caravella. As someone from humble beginnings, he did not forget where he came from and worked in charity. The rapper donated laptops and printers to Obon Janeni Primary School out of his pocket. 